Hey everyone, I'm Alan Ocampo and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Texas Instruments. The huge increases in internet traffic, multimedia streaming, and high-speed data transfers are creating an incredible demand for more and better communication infrastructures. And the market for faster and more efficient data networks in these systems is growing as well. When you're designing these type of systems, you know what your challenges are. You need to improve system performance while also reducing the overall cost of your systems. To help you solve these design challenges, Texas Instruments is announcing a high-performance, ultra-low jitter multi-rate clock generator, the LMK03806. This clock generator is capable of synthesizing 12 clock outputs from 2.27 MHz to 2.6 GHz plus two buffered reference clock outputs, and it can generate a 156.25 MHz output clock with less than 65 femtoseconds RMS jitter when integrated from 1.875 to 20 MHz. The LMK03806 can simultaneously generate ultra-low jitter reference clocks for a wide variety of ICs, including multi-gigabit transceivers, processors, FPGAs, ASICs, memory, and serial interfaces. The LMK03806 lets you dramatically simplify timing architectures by replacing fixed frequency clock generators, discrete XOs, VCXOs, and VCSOs, level translators, and fan-out buffers with a single device, which gives you a great advantage in reducing your required board space. And when it comes to system costs, with its higher integration and flexibility, this device reduces your bomb costs up to 50% because its ultra-low jitter performance eliminates the need for expensive VCSOs and VCXOs. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here on the bench, I've assembled a demonstration where we'll compare a traditional clocking solution against the LMK03806 to generate three low jitter clocks simultaneously. Both clocking solutions will be directly powered by a 3.3 volt lab supply. We'll use an oscilloscope to monitor the output clocks and a phase noise analyzer to measure phase noise and jitter performance for one of the clocks. First, we have a traditional clocking solution represented here by three discrete saw oscillator modules to generate fixed frequencies of 312.5 MHz, 156.25 MHz, and 125 MHz, which we're monitoring here on the scope. Because the clocks are generated independently, their output frequencies are not synchronous and phase relationships are random, as we see here. For applications that require frequency synchronization, the traditional approach would typically require multiple VCOs with dedicated loop filters and PLLs, which only increase the complexity, size, and cost of the solution. Let me now connect the 156.25 MHz output clock to the phase noise analyzer. Here we see the saw oscillator phase noise from 1 kHz to 40 MHz offset from the carrier. The output noise floor is minus 147.4 dBc per hertz, and the output jitter is about 277 femtoseconds RMS over the integration bandwidth of 12 kHz to 20 MHz. We now have the LMK03806 evaluation board, which is powered by the same 3.3 volt lab supply. To generate the output clocks, the LMK03806 uses its internal oscillator circuit with an external 20 MHz crystal to provide a reference clock input to the PLL, which locks the internal VCO to 2.5 GHz. This low noise VCO clock is distributed to three of its output dividers programmed to generate the same three clock frequencies in LV PECL output format, which we see here on the scope. Unlike the traditional clocking solution, the output clocks from the LMK03806 can be precisely synchronized and phase aligned since the output clocks are derived from the same VCO. And because the VCO is locked to the PLL reference input, all output clocks take on the frequency accuracy of the reference. Comparing the two phase noise plots, the phase noise of the LMK03806 is lower from 400 kHz offset, where its VCO noise outperforms the saw oscillator, to 20 MHz offset, where the noise floor of the LV PECL output reaches 160 dBc per hertz, or 13 dB below that of the saw oscillator. Because the phase noise of the LMK03806 is lower over a larger portion of the 12 kHz to 20 MHz integration bandwidth, the output jitter is 203 femtoseconds RMS, or nearly 30% lower than that of the saw oscillator. So now you can have 30 to 50% lower jitter 
compared to a saw oscillator solution, which improves your bit error rate performance in multi-gigabit serial links and increases signal-to-noise ratio in data converter applications. In addition to the evaluation board, you can also download our clock design tool software to aid you in part selection, loop filter design, and performance simulation. The LMK03806 is a great fit for a number of applications. You can get a lot more information on the LMK03806 and other clocking solutions from Texas Instruments by visiting us at ti.com slash clocks. That'll wrap things up for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.